Hello there, everyone. Right now in Sweet Moon, it's 1.11 p.m. on Friday, February 2nd, 2024. Now for today's announcements. We have a new friend on our island. Let's give a big Sweet Moon welcome to Carrie. Carrie, on behalf of your new island family, welcome aboard. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. Hello, everyone. My name is Benny, and welcome back to Let's Play Animal Crossing New Horizons. Happy Friday. Um, I am homesick from work today. Um, so that's why I'm recording so early in the afternoon. Um, but I figured I shouldn't just sit in bed all day. I should try to be somewhat productive and record some Animal Crossing. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today. Oh my gosh, so many things. Oh my gosh, that's so many things. Okay, so here's all the... Oh god, are my pockets full? I'm pretty sure my pockets are like filled. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, pockets are full. Let's let's sort that out first. I hope everyone's had a good week so far. Oh, and the second room to our house is done. So I did play yesterday. Um that's why I've got a couple of these things all here in my inventory. Okay. Put the stone away. Gosh, so much stuff. That we can sell. The typewriter I'll put in storage. This I can sell. The rattan stool we'll put in storage. Anything we don't quite need. Recycled paper bundle. I got this from the recycling thing. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep that. Oh, our turnips are rotted. I'm actually going to take those and stick them outside that way. The dolly, we're going to sell that. I don't really like really like that. And a Mabel visited yesterday. So that was her third visit to the island. So we actually got her uh, plot to put down for the Able Sisters. So I went and did that as well. Um, okay, we're going to pick up this, stick this outside. Okay. Um, let's drop these here, just in front of the house, and we'll see if some ants or a fly spawns on them. Um, so yeah, so we have... Oh, what's Clay thinking about? Can I run an idea by you? I've been thinking about moving. Away. I mean, from here. Away from here. What? How? You've, you've lived here, like, not even a week. I just want to try yummy snacks all over the world. I don't want to miss out on any flavors. You should stay. Huh? You want me to stay? Well, spicy and ice cream, I had no idea. I don't know what to say. It's real nice to hear you want me to stick around on Sweet Moon. That's how you feel. I'm going to stay here forever. Good luck getting rid of me now. Oh, dear. That is so weird. I don't think I've ever seen a villager ask to move away that early before. Huh. Very interesting. What was I gonna say? Um, nope, that's the wrong thing. So we have uh, Jacques and Carrie moved in, and then I also did place the plot down for the Able Sisters. So um, I couldn't really stick it anywhere near the museum and nooks, so I'm gonna put it next to where the bridge is. That way it's like still somewhat central-ish. Um, so we'll see how much I like that. Um, but yeah, so that's that was that. And then Red also visited, um, was visiting Wednesday afternoon or Wednesday evening when I was last recorded. So yeah, let's go get those fossils assessed and donated as well. It's very early for Blathers. Hello, Blathers. Okay, let's see. We're going to assess some fossils. Got a couple this time. I want to double check that none of these bugs are something I have to donate either. Okay. Not everything's going to be donated. That's fine. Donate. Uh, okay, we've got a couple repeats. Okay, so none of the bugs. I can safely sell all those bugs. 
So here's some fossils, and I have an art piece as well that we can donate from Red. Okay. And we got some Nook Miles from it. Never a bad thing. I think our goal should be to have about 16,000 miles when we hit three stars. And I think one of my goals today is to start working towards that progress-wise. Get some of our little daily chores out of the way. Hello, boys. Oh, that ink, that set's really cute, actually. Let's see, I want to sell. All right, we can sell that, that's a duplicate. Paper bundle we want to keep. These can all go, the fruit can go, the dolly definitely needs to go, that thing is cursed. 24,000, not bad. A nice chunk of change. All right, I like this little essay set, that's cute. Buy that. This football looks like the power clam from Splatoon in the Clamplets ranked mode. A Monstera. Like these. Like one of those. And I actually kind of like this clothesline as well. And we can set up like a little laundry area next to the Able Sisters store to score some decorating points. Okay, there's that. Anything in here? Viva Festival reaction set. That's new. Great choice, you'll be able to learn all kinds of fun new reactions from the Viva Festival reaction set. Oh, but if you want that collection, you better hurry. It's only available until February 12th. Huh. Let's see, 19,000. Yeah, I'll buy it. I don't think I've ever played the festival event. In New Horizons. I think by the time it, the first year it came around, I think that was kind of it. I wasn't pl really playing that much anymore. Anything else in here? Red Cosmos, Red Windflowers, Orange Windflowers. Oh, I think I have all of those flowers. There's some, like, DIY recipe stuff that we've not got either. Flooring wallpaper are not my favorite choices. That's very interesting. I did not know that, that was a thing for some reason. You learn something new every day. All right. Sell some fruit, catch a sea butterfly. And those only come out like later in the evening, if I'm not mistaken. You know, 10 reactions now, there we go. Another 500 miles. All right, I think the other thing I wanna to do today is put down the final plot for the eighth villager. That way we're set on houses. Um, set house-wise. Um, if I can hold off on building another bridge, I would like to. Just because. Oh, I thought there was like a villager hiding behind her. The mole cricket. Are there any bugs? Oh, there's some ants. I want these. Oh god, I hate that. I hate that. There we go. Tell me where the queen is. Oh, apples running around. We got something from mom. I've lined up my icy hands to warm them. It doesn't work, but it's something to do. If I stitch fast enough, maybe I'll be able to feel my fingers again. I miss the sun. Mom. Oh. They're cute. Nook ink. Okay, so we got 100 miles for free since someone moved into the plot we pulled down, or we put down. What did Apple send us? Nice house, Benny. I hear your place is a new room. Uh, you should let me come over and check out your interior design. I'm sending you a little congrats, congrats Prezi. I hope you love it. Just come on over from Apple. Bank of Nook. Okay, we got one bell of interest. Very nice. Okay. These we can probably throw away. Not like too keen on keeping these. Jolly Reds. This is um, an art piece. Oh. Take the present first. There we go. Gosh, so much. Our gratitude for giving you some look. Oh, okay. Oh, is this one of the... 
actually know what half these letters are, to be quite honest with you. I really need to go through my mailbox and clean it. Happy home. Okay. Let's see. All the stuff we've got. Oh my gosh. Alright, present. This should be mom's embroidery. That's cute. I do like that. Velvet stool. Okay, I think that was from Apple. A quaint paint. That's from Red. And these should be the old street lamps that I bought. Yes, perfect. Street lamp. And a marimba. Okay. Oh, Jacques, how are you? I'm so glad we ran into each other at the campsite the other day. Because I don't know uh, if I would have ever discovered this place if on my own, you know? I think this officially makes you an influencer, Benny. Haha. <laughs> Well, that's very meta commentary there. Apple was running around somewhere. I don't know where the heck she went off to. Buy anything on my beaches? I do not, actually. And let's also go visit Carrie while she's getting ready to move in. Oh, I actually love this wallpaper. That's really cute. It matches her colors like very well. <laughs> Look who's here, checking in on me before I've even finished unpacking. As of today, I can start saying that I'm from Sweet Moon, too. So, hello, new neighbor. Oh, Been too busy unpacking to eat. I should try to grab a snack soon, little one. Uh, maybe some tea. Oh, yeah, don't, don't collapse there. You gotta be a good mom. The little Joey. I actually really like Carrie. Like, I, I, I've, I've never really had too many of the kangaroo villagers, but she's actually really cute. Her kid's cute, too. We've got a cute kid. I mean, it's, it's over. Right, we spoke to Clay. Clay wanted to move out, so I don't know. We've already got some drama on the island brewing. I don't know why Clay wanted to move out. He just got here. This place just sucks enough. <laughs> it's like, get me out. Oh, gosh. Okay. Alright, yep. So, Able Sisters is in the works. It should be done, hopefully. Oh, Celia's here. Well, hello, Feathers. What's the latest? I'm trying to make the most of today. Oh. Me too. No, I'm not 100%. That is A-OK. -okay. you have any rare fishies on the dock? No. Don't know. I've not seen a single fish spawn on that dock. No villager in the campsite. I have a snow boy up there that I built the other day. We're still slowly working on getting all the perfect snowmen and gathering enough snowflakes to make the um, all the DIYs. There we go. Do we have another one somewhere? Somewhere around here? Maybe over here? No. I don't remember where the snowman got built, but somewhere. Oh, here he is. Oh, my. Thanks for the large snowflakes, my guy. Let's see, I'm trying to think of things to talk about. I am excited today Persona 3 Reload relaunches, um, and I currently have a free trial of Xbox Game Pass going. Or not a free trial, the dollar two-week trial of Xbox Game Pass going, since that's how I was playing Pal World the last two weeks. Um, cause I wasn't sure if I wanted to buy it outright. <laughs> um, I know the game has its like a fair share of opinions around it. Um, but I honestly have like genuinely had a good time playing it. Um, so yeah, so I may, what the heck is that? Tiger beetle? You're new. Come here. Ah, there we go. Is it a tiger beetle? Yeah, it is a tiger beetle. I pounced first. Okay. So I guess we are in February. New bugs are spawning. Nothing. Let's see. Antonio's. Oh, a balloon. This is going to be inventory management in the game. How full my pockets already are. Spinning wheel. What does that look like? Oh, 
Okay, like a spinning, like an actual spinning wheel. I gotcha. Scare those away since we want to fly to spawn and not those. Agnes? Agnes is out. I don't know where that Agnes could be. So is he Antonio? Maybe Antonio's crafting something. Uh huh. he is. He's, ha he's hammering away. Hey, Benny. Perfect timing. Come take a take, Come take a look. I so said, come take a honk. <laughs> What's that? You're not gonna believe it. I made a stacked. I made some stacked bottle crates. I was out jogging the other day, and somewhere around the 53rd mile, inspiration just hit me. Or it could have been dehydration. Either way, check it out. Stay and stay hydrated. Building was like hard workout routine, and you know I'm all about sharing my routines. So what do you say? You want to try? Uh, you want to get built? Want to get built making yourself some stacked bottle? I can't read today. Teach me. Well, I could, or I could give you this paper that I wrote the recipe on. I have up for the paper. As long as you can read my handwriting, you've got this. Okay. Stacked bottle crates. I don't think I've ever seen this DIY before. I'm assuming, like, milk bottle crates, almost. That, and, like, am I correct in that assumption? Yeah, it kind of looks like that. But I need two bottle crates, which... Lord knows where I get those from. I'm assuming that's a store-bought item. Okay. What else are we trying to do? Let's, um, oh, there's Apple. Let's say hello. Hi there. Let's talk. Your skies are amazing. They really make you think about how huge our galaxy is, you know? Like sunlight travels 92 million miles to make us warm and happy during the day. And at night, some of the starlight that we see has traveled billions of years to get out here to our island. I want to make a joke about me being a star, but I'm too busy being amazed by nature. I think we've, I think we've had that line of dialogue before. New Horizons, uh, biggest flaw in my opinion is starting to rear its its head. And that is the lack of dialogue in general from the villagers. All right. We're gonna do a bit of island designing here. I'm gonna take these flowers. I'm actually gonna move them one up. Plant and plant. I'm gonna take one of these street lights. Nope, don't do that. I'm gonna put it in between our houses here. And I think I may put either some fencing or like us a, a hay bed, probably a hay bed just to kind of get some more, um, what's it called? Like some more DIY furniture out here. Um, and I'll probably move something like my switch, things like that outside as well, since I know like big ticket items can really um, contribute to your island star rating. Nope. Not there. I want them here. Street lamp. There we go. I definitely want to place another street lamp here. And here. Nope, oh, that's a quaint painting. Oh, did I only buy three of them? No. Dang it. Foiled. Okay, that's fine. We'll have a have we'll have another street lamp go here. I think these I think they turn on automatically. I think. Right, let's um Here another balloon. Where? Hear it. There it is. Gimme. Oh, it's the yellow one. It might have money in it. Please? No, frilly pants. You know what? Let's try them. Okay, yeah, no, definitely not my style. Um, 
Apple, you want some frilly pants? Uh, here's a gift. Yeah, I'll take some frilly pants. Some frilly pants? Did you get this because you thought I'd rock it? That makes me so happy. I'm totally feeling the love. Cheekers, thanks a bunch, Benny. Hey, I wanted to say thanks, but with like an object, it's a sleeved apron. Enjoy. Okay. Wait, what does this look like? Okay, that's like kind of cute. I don't hate it. I look like a bit like a convenience store worker. Um, but you know, that's there's nothing wrong with that. I actually did buy a couple clothes from Mabel, so we might change our outfit up just a little bit. And put some stuff in our storage. Good lord. The spinning wheel, we can actually put that next to Abel Sisters. The marimba? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Um, and we can put in storage. The painting we want to give to Blathers. Velvet Storm. That we can put in storage. The embroidery is really cute, I'm pretty sure, if it's the item that I think it is. Uh, hang on wall. Oh, we got a cute one. It's like Little Red Riding Hood. Like a wolf. That's adorable. Clothesline pole we want to put out. The Monstera, we can put that in our storage. Cycled paper bundle. You can actually maybe put that next to like nooks. Um, I know that I bought like a a, a fountain, like a like a clothes fountain or like not a clothes fountain. A um, garden lantern. Trash can we can stick outside. That's always good to have. <laughs> There's all the rugs that we've got. The flower seeds. Crafting material. We're going to need a lot of weeds. And we're actually going to pull out some of this fencing as well. Take out a couple crafting or customization kits. Let's see. Anything else that might look nice outside? The shop sign would be good. Do the garden lantern. A stone tablet. Start sticking things outside. But I want to make a couple hay beds. Let's craft. Alright, hay beds. Gosh, 20, 20 weeds each. Make a couple. I want to put them, I think, behind the... Um, put them behind the lanterns outside. I think that might be like a nice little touch. Now let's customize them. I don't actually know what customizations you can do for them. A clothesline pull we can customize. What, is, what are different options? Oh, okay. So it's like the PE shirt. That looks disgusting. <laughs> the fish shirt or a little carrot shirt. Oh, let's do a little carrot shirt. Yeah, let's do that. What else can we do we have that we can customize? The wooden shop sign. Dark wood, white wood, natural. Let's do natural. Pet. This is an ad. Let's do that one. What about stone tablet? I think we can make like one like, yeah, mossy or just regular. We'll may keep that the same. The hay beds. Pale green or green. Honestly, I kind of prefer the brown for them. And then we have some of those cardboard items, right? Can we like maybe... Cardboard chair. Like one cardboard box. 
Let's make. Hmm. I'm, I think there's cardboard boxes in resident services. Oh, and let's change our outfit while we're here. Why not? Yeah, I got changed. All right. We're gonna keep the glasses since I like them a lot. Um. Cropped pants, that's pretty cute. Kind of formal. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Build hood boots. Yeah, let's go with that. Or the puffer. No, I like the sweater. The apron's cute too, but I don't think it's quite the outfit we're going for. Yeah, there we go. I like that. Got miles for it, too. Making a change. A closet of must is a must-have item for fashion trendsetter. I'll offer Nook Miles to anyone who has a closet and changes outfits, thereby increasing the chance of an island fashion trend catching on. Took us a, took us a while. We've had, the, <laughs> we've had the closet for quite a while. Um, okay. Yeah, I think we've got, we've got some stuff. I, I, like I said, I, I want to start working towards... At least putting some de manner of decoration out, out there for our island. All right, let's do a hay bed here. I think, yeah, I think that's cute. Um, where's the other one? Hay bed. Here we go. And let's get a cardboard box. We can do, we have that, do we have that spinning wheel on us still? We do. We can do like, let's check our recipes. I should have grabbed some wood out from out in the house. Like a small table and a stool set of some kind. Housewares. Yeah, the mini table and the stool. That would be cute. Anything else? I think that natural garden table is too big. The rocking chair would be really cute as well. Of these dead trees. I think that's what we'll do. I am gonna go grab some wood, do a little bit of crafting, and I will be right... Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I did a little bit of crafting, so I got us some stone stools, uh, the little table I wanted to make, some log stakes, and I also made some country fencing as well. Um, so I think that'll be a decent enough start. And the last thing I want to grab is a cardboard box from Town Hall, or resident services, and make that um, cardboard box chair. Um, and then we'll do a little bit of, like, a light sprinkling of decorating. Just to, just to say that we did some. We also want to grab that house plot while we're here. Uh, we're getting more inquiries about the campsite you helped build. Yes, yes, my plan to draw visitors easily with the campsite has proven itself to be a masterpiece. We've laid the groundwork to increase tourism, and, I hope, the number of island residents. Now, if that positive word of mouth marketing about Sweet Moon will just spread. I admit, though, this is the most difficult part of the whole, our whole venture. Don't you worry, Mr. Nook. As long as we all work together, I'm sure we'll reach our goal of having KK hold a concert here. But the same way I do, don't you, Benny? Dreams do come true. Isabel, Benny, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm more determined than ever. We're not done, Benny, and we're all counting on you. When you're ready to talk about the next part of my pro of the project, come ask me what should I do. Okay, we can do that. There's a car there's lots of cardboard boxes in here. We'll take one for now. Let's craft. Cardboard box chair. And put that outside Nook's uh, cranny just to see. I'm curious to see what it's gonna look like. Can you customize it at all? Uh, those lion pole, wooden chair, log stakes. Oh, you can, cardboard chair. 
Uh, ooh, let's do labeled. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Gosh, our inventory is getting full. Head over to the Nook Stop. I'm going to spend a thousand miles to get another um, lamppost. Log. Oh, the log fence. Okay, yes, I do want this one. Absolutely want that one. This is a good one. I, this, I think this fence is on Harv's Island, which we've not gone to yet, but there's not really too much of a reason to until we get three stars. Anything else? Zen fence we already have. I... Tempted to do some of the wave breakers. I do kind of like how they look. Hmm. Not quite yet, though. Got another street lamp. Yes. Uh, anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Mm. Not for right now, no. Back out we go. Let's talk to Nook and see what he's got to say. Alright, first, let's talk infrastructure. Okay, and we want to sell some land to be our last house plot for a little while. Just enough bells. Sure will. Okay, there we go. And someone gave me the very helpful hint. Oh, okay, it's not going to back me out of my the dialogue. But someone gave me the very helpful hint uh, that if you don't actually have to leave the chair and sit back in it, you could just press A again and talk to him, which I did not know. Yes, yes, I'll explain the last major task for Project K then. We've started gathering feedback from folks on and off the island. Our focus should right, right now should be improving the image of the island and gaining that all-important word-of-mouth marketing. I've asked Isabel to assist with collating the feedback, so talk to her for the latest information. I think Isabel will have some good pointers on how we can improve the island's image as well. In short, we need to increase our population, improve this island's scenery, and turn Sweet Moon into the most charming island it can be. Infrastructure is important, but let's plant flowers and use decorations to make this place look snazzy. Well then, thanks for your help. Okay. So we've got our next goal. Uh, we can check our, our star rating, but... Uh, I don't think it's going to be very high. Oh, of course. As Mr. Nook mentioned, I'm leading the task force that compiles feedback related to the image of our island. Okay, it's just me, though I have always wanted a task force of my very own. Anyway, I won't bore you with the details now, but feel free to ask about island evaluations at any time. Now then, how can I help you today? Let's talk island evals. Let's see where we stand. I think it's going to be one star. Oh, wonderful. Seems you're ex ex excited to hear about the image of our island as I am to talk about it. Allow me to explain how the task force, that's me, collects and analyzes the data from my reports. First, I conduct random polling around the island with residents, visitors, and tourists. Their feedback is then ranked using the well-known five-star system. The better the balance of natural beauty, development, decor, and the more stars the island receives. That means we need more residents and buildings, proper infrastructure, and a well-decorated natural setting. Easy enough, right? But if we can achieve that perfect balance and welcoming environment, our ranking is bound to rise. As it stands, we currently have a one-star rating. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's about right. Folk are feeling we still have some room for improvement. Allow me to read an excerpt from this feedback that I gathered. It's great that there isn't too much going on. I hope it'll stay nice and assuming, like me. Well, there you have it. Hmm. It seems like every piece of feedback we received is from the same police. And while I'm happy to hear they enjoyed themselves, we need more residents to get some word of mouth going about our island if we want a higher rating. For now, I suggest we focus on growing our population and gathering more varied feedback. We want to increase the number of residents, first we need to prepare some land to sell. Once we have all that in order, we can recruit folks to move here. I suggest you visit Mr. Nook's counter and ask him about our island infrastructure. I'm sure he'd be happy to help, uh, help you set aside land to sell. And there you have it. Let me know next time you'd like to hear the latest island feedback. Okay, Isabel. I think we're good. Good for now. Let's get started on that all-important task of decorating while we're here. Never hurts anyone. Okay. So for nooks, I wanted to put like 
back here, we can do... Gosh, this is going to be like a nightmare. The stone tablet. Cardboard chair. Yeah, there we go. That, and... Um, put the wooden shop sign in front. This is going to be like... Very not. Um, oh, and the garbage bin. Okay. Actually, let's do that. Put this here. Do the stack of recycled papers. I think I can. Oh, I can. Kind of got like a little, a little what's it called area. Then we can put the shop sign in front. If I can find it, that is. Here we go. Plain wooden shop sign. Perfect. There we go. So they've got like a little, you know, maybe some like old shipments that they're waiting to take out. Garbage cans, which are like actually insanely helpful because you can actually use them to put get rid of items that you don't need. Um, so always helpful. That's that. Next, I want to go down here by our beach. Oh, Apple wants to talk. Benny, I heard all about what you're up to. Are you going to make Sweet Moon so famous that KK will come here on tour? That actually happens. Oh my gosh, that'll be so cool. So, so wild. So, ah, so Tris, amazing. You know what? I'm going to help you chase this crazy dream. Hmm, what can we do? I've got it. What if we, like, make a powerful spot somewhere on the island? A powerful spot. Just a big, powerful center of good vibes. This is the fabest of fab ideas, don't you think so? Uh-oh, Apple's busting out the crystals. I've got to have something to help you out with a project like that. How about something like this? Oh, what is she giving us? That telescope gives off strong vibes. But if you put that somewhere on the island, good energy will flow. KK will show up and life will be perfect. Oh, actually, that actually is very helpful. Thank you very much, Apple. Oh, she changed into her little workout gear. Oh, she's getting fit. She's getting swole. All right, and one thing I wanted to do. So the path to... Let's see. The path to the beach... What kind we can kind of do down here? Let's learn this before anything. Uh, where's the log stakes that we made? Down here. We'll kind of have these, like, to flank where the path to the beach would go. I'll bury them a little bit. Now, I think... I'm wanting to kind of set up a little, hmm, I feel like a nice little meeting spot on this beach here would be like kind of cute. Though so like with, I have a bonfire, I'm pretty sure. There's the bonfire. Oh, it's huge. It's like absolutely huge. I like it down there though. No. Oh my god, she's like, she is sweating. Good for her. How about if we do it like down here somewhere? God, I'm gonna lose it every time I place it, aren't I? There we go, I like that. And I got some stone stools as well. So people can chill out by the bonfire. Maybe not so close to it. Stone stool. I think that's like still too... Huh. Maybe not actually. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Same thing here. Could have one more. 
Oh, I have two more actually. Perfect. Right, are these aligned? They're not. Are those aligned? There we go. Alright, I may save the last stone stool for something else. Turn that on. Hopefully it doesn't spread fire and burn down the houses. Um, let's see. Keep going. Next is... Oh! Gulliver's here. Mur, mur, waiter, somebody put salt in this water. Snurk, snurk. Sorry, fellas. I already licked all these cookies. I had to test for raisins. Zin, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Avast! Storms are coming. Brace yourselves, lads. Hard to starboard. Tough to port. Stern to stern. The waves. The waves are God, ready. The pool noodles. Oh my gosh. Murph. But verily, it be the nature of dreams to end. Snurk. Ugh. Who? What? Where? And I'll throw in and when and why at the end. <laughs> no extra charge. You there. What's with the weird awakening, huh? Don't you know what you're dealing with? Oh, it's you, Benny. That's different, then. I am slightly less annoyed. Hmm? What was that verily stuff about? Not sure. I think I heard it fish say it once. Anyway, I guess I must have fallen overboard and washed up on this island. Or on this beach. It happens. Don't worry about me. Getting rescued is going to be a breeze. I'll just call for help using my handy dandy, uh, my, uh, oh my gosh, my handy dandy communicator is broken. Again, this isn't handy or dandy. Oh, sardine, it's all cracked and busted. Looks like it's missing a few communicator parts, too. That means I'll have to wait for my crew to find me on their own. Mm, that could take a while. I've only got enough nautical puns to last for a couple hours. You, yes, you, will you help me find my communicator parts? I'll look for him. Oh, thank you, thank you, your heart must be almost be almost as big as your head. The communicator parts are probably buried in sand somewhere. I'm missing just five parts. If you'll find them, I'll try to cram them back in. I'm sure my crewmates are looking for me, so I'd better stay here and watch for the boat. Leave the searching to you. I believe in you, partner. I don't have much of a choice. All right, I will do that in my spare time today. Um, I want to keep decorating this area. I think what I would like to do is stick a... Um, Let's do it one of the stone stools here. And it's fine there. I have a garden lantern. Garden lantern. Garden lantern. Garden lantern. There we go. There's no room to put anything here. Oh, can those not go on items? Oh, I didn't know that. Can I put it here? lost it again. There we go. No. It would be in the way. Okay. That's fine. I actually did not know that. Let's see. How about now? Yeah, there we go. Do I have anything that could go on that stool? Fossil, clothesline, a faucet, wooden chair. No, not really. Alright. We're gonna put the... Close line here next to the stores. So it's got like an area to do laundry at. Then and also put down the little table we got. The spinning wheel on top. No. Spinning wheel on top, please. If it can't go on top, then like. It can't go on top of. What? Why? This is just supposed to sit on the floor? Well, that's not. That's not good. I don't like that. What the heck am I supposed to. There goes my entire plan. We'll put the chair here anyways. No, 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 no. Not here. I think I have like a tea set that I can put out on this table maybe. Well, shoot, there goes that brilliant plan. 
the heck am I supposed to do with the sp spinning wheel now? The telescope, I think, would be nice. By the little bonfire area. Tablet. Ooh. Actually, I have a nice idea for a spot for the tablet. It's gonna be like kind of hidden, just like out of the way, like one of our cliffs, but I don't think it's a bad, it would be a bad use of the space. Go up here. We've got this little heart shaped pond. What if we um, put the tablet here? There we go. Seems like kind of mysterious, right? Yeah. I'm happy with that. I'm so upset that I can't stick that spinning wheel on top of the table. Like, I don't see why I wouldn't be able to unless it's considered too big, but it looks like it's a one by one item. Yeah. Like, it would fit on that table. Okay, well there goes that plan. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? So we have the telescope left, the faucet. I'm actually gonna put the faucet, I think, by the beach path as kind of like, a, oh, you can like wash your feet off from the sand when you're like done being on the beach. Cause who wants sandy toes? One of my more favorite items actually. Um, the chalkboard, the telescope, we'll actually stick this. Put this right here. Oh, actually, you know what? No. I'm gonna put it on the rocks over here. I'm like overlooking. No room to put anything here, okay. It is so picky sometimes. This is when I wish it had like Dreamlight Valley decorating where I could just like see a grid. But I guess it's just a, another thing to overcome. More ants. You need to give me a fly. You can also put the chalkboard in front of the museum, even though like a certain bird is not there, but furniture, and we just kind of want to keep putting furniture down. Coffee, yeah. I think that's, that's kind of nice. I am going to get a little that little tea set that I have from my house. Oh. You. Take you. Money. Money is money. Oh, there's a balloon back there. No. Oh, dang it. Okay. Like I said, oh, we, we do have this little tea set. Let's get this. We do have a little sewing. We have a little sewing project. All right, let's put the spinning wheel away. Just the plan just did not work. out we go. I don't necessarily... I really wish Leaf would come visit again so I could buy some bushes. I'm gonna put... Oh. Okay, right, so the fencing is gonna be a little strange. I'm gonna line this here. I'll definitely, once I get bushes, try to break this up with like hedges. Like here, I would probably put flowers and like, you know, maybe like two pieces of fencing and then some more hedges. You know, something, something along those lines, but just to get some fencing down. Let's also go ahead and put our plot down while I, while I have it before I forget. I think that's too far back. Yeah, definitely too far back. Okay. At least 
least I think so. Uh, okay, that looks about right. right that's fine. And we'll stick that there. Perfect. Okay, so that'll be our eighth villager. So that we'll, we'll have that requirement met. Um, put this little tea set out here. This tea set does not match this. Yeah, there we go. Does not match the tablecloth at all, but you know what? Uh, it's something. And I think that's a wrap there. Just a light little bit of decorating. You know, just to, to liven things up a bit. Still working on catching 100 bugs, so I should just catch the stuff that I see. That would probably make the most sense to just do. There we go. But yeah, I think we did, we did a lot of work today. So I may actually call the episode here. Um, you know, please do not take my uh, decorating skills uh, into account. Like I said, this is, uh, I'm more focused on getting three stars. And then once we get three stars, we can like kind of start to fine, fine tune certain ideas. Um, but yeah, so I'd like to thank everyone else, uh, everyone for watching. I hope you guys have a, a great day uh, or evening, wherever you are, and a good weekend, depending on when you watch this. Um, and yeah, I hope to see you guys soon. Bye!